Hi, Matt from BuzzStream here. Today I'm going to show you how to add websites and people to your BuzzStream account and how BuzzStream saves you time researching them. First, let's take a look at adding sites with the Buzz Marker for Chrome. Start by browsing to a site you'd like to get coverage or a link from. This looks like a good prospect. Next, BuzzMark it by clicking the Buzz Marker icon in the Chrome toolbar. Now BuzzStream has gone ahead and found contact information, social handles, and the article's author. I'll categorize the website and add tags so I can find it again in my database. Then I'll hit Save to BuzzStream, and this site and its author will be added to my BuzzStream database. BuzzStream will further research this site, collecting metrics, contact information, and recent content. Next, let's add a list of sites to BuzzStream, maybe from a spreadsheet you already have or from a site like Alltop. To do that, click Add Websites and then Add from List of URLs. Copy and paste your list into the box and press Add Websites. Now, BuzzStream goes to work for you, searching for contact information, collecting metrics, and finding recent content in RSS feeds. Next, let's look at how to use other prospecting tools like OpenSight Explorer with BuzzStream. There are a few ways you can get the results from other tools into your BuzzStream account. The first way is using a list browser. Navigate to your prospecting tool, right click and select Create a prospecting list from the BuzzMarker dropdown. Now you can delete sites you know won't work for your campaign and hit Start Prospecting. Now, if you find a good opportunity, you can categorize it, add tags, and save it to your BuzzStream account. And if it's not a great opportunity, just hit Next, and the buzz marker takes you to the next site in your list. You can also import the full results set from prospecting tools. Simply export a CSV from the tool, select the Import from Existing File option, and pick your tool. Line up the fields in BuzzStream and press Import. And those opportunities will be added to BuzzStream. Just like before, BuzzStream automatically looks for contact information, collects metrics, and finds recent content. You can also find new opportunities with BuzzStream's prospecting module. We fully explained the prospecting module in Lesson 4 of BuzzStream University. And finally, you can add individual websites one by one through the Create New Website button. And no matter how you add websites to BuzzStream, you save time as BuzzStream gathers metrics and looks for contact information on your behalf. And that's how you add websites and people to your BuzzStream account. You can find more resources and tutorials at buzzstream.com university, or you can email us anytime for help at support at buzzstream.com. Thanks.